Start by installing your flanges. Keep your flanges at a 45 degree angle and I'll explain that in a minute. Next, set your two gaskets in position. You're better off installing the back flange bolts first. That way you can shift it. With the back nut and bolts tight, now you can actually adjust that flange if needed to just by simply pulling or pushing on the low loss header. Line up your front flanges. Now tighten the four nuts and bolts. We're standing on the left side of the boiler and when piping out to the system you'll see R and S. S is your supply to the system, R is the return from the system. Next, we'll wire up the pump. Use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the cap from the pump. Next, we'll install the wire harness. Now on the wire harness, we have a straight conduit connector and a 90 degree conduit connector. The 90 degree conduit connector gets connected to the boiler. So here, I'm going to use the lower knockout. And here we have red and a white wire. Remove the plastic cover from the TB2 terminal strip and right here it's labeled boiler pump 1 and 120 neutral. Don't forget to install the protection finger guard. Finish installing your wire harness and here I've installed it into the pump and you have two options for wiring. Um, you can use a wire nut and tie these together or pull on the Molex plug, be gentle with it, and you can remove the wire from the Molex connector and just insert the wires, providing you have a small screwdriver. And here I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to use a very fine small screwdriver, push it in, and I'll remove the wire. Do one wire at a time. If you don't have a small screwdriver, just wire up your red wire to the black wire, white wire to white wire. The red wire is your line voltage. In here, you'll see L and N. The Molex connector can only go in one way, but it's going to go in in that position. Just insert it, push in on it, and you should be good. Tuck your wires in and install your cover plate.